What's up YouTube? I'm Guy and today on the channel I wanted to discuss something that has been debated and argued about for as long as I've been making YouTube videos, for as long as I've been in the watch collecting hobby. That topic is, is there a difference between the Seiko SKX009 K version versus J version? Or more specifically, is the made in Japan version better than the made in Malaysia, quote unquote, and you know, I'll probably expand on why I'm putting that in quotes here in a moment, but the short answer, based on my experience and using a little bit of, I don't know, um, logic, I guess, no, there's virtually no difference between the K and the J versions of the SKX009. I assume this would also apply to the 007. I don't have one of each of those on the table here to uh, evaluate, but I'm pretty confident that uh, still, regardless of which version we're talking about, no, there's no difference between the made in Japan version and the made in M Malaysia version, quote unquote, again. First of all, why do I say that? I don't know that the K version is in fact made in Malaysia, 100%, absolutely, without a doubt. That's sort of the rumor that's been floating around the internet for as long as I have been looking into this topic for, you know, at least a year now, if not more. And I think it's probably true, but I just can't confirm it for certainty. I mean, it could be made anywhere. It doesn't say made in Malaysia anywhere on the case that I could find or in the documentation that comes with it. So we'll just say the not made in Japan version as opposed to made in Malaysia, but that's potentially where it's made. Again, that's the rumor going around the internet. So what are the differences between the K and the J version? If you watch other people's videos, if you go on forums and, you know, message boards, discussion groups, there's pretty wildly different opinions on which one is better. And generally they lean towards the J version being the better of the two, being higher quality, having better finish, fit and finish, I guess perhaps even having better quality control, and I've even heard rumors that suggest that the versions that are made in Japan are more accurate movements. I don't find any of that to be the case, and I believe, just again, based on logic and reasoning, that people are coming up with those opinions strictly based on a variation in production, I don't know, date? Basically, when were these watches produced that they're comparing? Um, the two examples that I have, one was made based on the serial number. You can determine more or less when they were made. One was made in August of 2016, and that's the K version. My J version was made in January of 2017. So basically a six month, roughly five, six month difference in when they were produced and where they were produced. And again, the visually, there's no difference at all in terms of quality and fit and finish, uh, the color of the dials, the bezels, nothing. It is all identical. The only perceptible difference between these that are a matter of fact, 100% different and will be in every case is the printing on the dial. On the J version, on the dial, Below the designation for divers 200 meters on the six o'clock side, there is an extra line of text that says 21 joules. And that isn't present on the K version. At the very bottom of the dial, it says made in Japan or Japan movement or something to that extent. And, and honestly, that's it. Those are the only differences between these two watches. Um, now, is that worth potentially $50 more to have a quote unquote, I guess I'll, I don't know, I've never heard anyone say this actually. So I'll coin the term a two line Seiko SKX009. Are you willing to pay an extra $50 to have a quote unquote two liner or a two line SKX? I mean, if you are, and I'll be honest, I am, I kind of like the extra line of text. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, who cares? It's 50 bucks. It's 200 versus $250. If you like the way that it looks with that extra little line of text, you know, again, so what? It's your prerogative, that's totally fine. But that is really the only difference. That is really the only reason, in my opinion, to buy the J over the K. There, 
is no difference in the finishing, be it the brushing or the polishing on either of these two watches. Now the K version that I have here has been worn pretty heavily for about a year and it's got wear, particularly noticeable on the polished surfaces on the sides of the case. But if we look past the wear and tear that's on the watch, the finishing is identical. The polishing is identical quality. The brushing is of identical quality. I've heard people suggest that the quality or the precision of the line that separates the brushing from the polished finishes on the case, it's done better in the Japanese version. No, again, I think that is only because, if somebody did notice that, um, that's only because of when it was made. I mean, who made it? You know, who was working in the factory that day? Who was the person doing the finishing? Maybe he was just a little bit more skilled than the guy in the other factory. I think it could go either way. I think you could find a K version that maybe appears slightly better in some cases, and I think you're also going to find J versions that appear slightly better. Now, what about the coloration of the dial and the bezel, the blue and the red on the bezel, the ink? My versions look the same, just absolutely identical. But could there be variations? Yeah, because they're mixing up that paint at different points in time, and they don't have like maybe perfect quality control, so it doesn't come out the same. But again, you're not gonna get better or worse from the K versus the J. It's just gonna be variants. It's gonna be luck of the draw, I guess is another way you could look at it. They are really, they're, they're the same. The only differences that I've noticed in mine are little variations, like the threading on the crown. On the K version, it was better. But you know what? I've had a lot of SKX watches now come through my hands, and they're all hit and miss when it comes to the, thrown, the, the crown threading. Some of them thread real good, some of them don't. All of them kind of required me to get in there with a piece of dental floss, waxed floss, and kind of run it through the threads and clean them up to make it work better. All of them needed that. Uh, what about the action on the bezel? Is one better than the other? The J version is a little bit stiffer, but you know what? It's newer and it hasn't been used as much. Maybe the K version broke in a little bit. Um, but I, again, don't think that it is indicative of where it was made. I don't think that it would be something that you would point out as saying, oh, it's better because... It came from the Japan factory and it has, you know, this or that being better. In this case, we're talking about the bezel. The bezel works better on this one. It doesn't. It's just variance. Again, these are highly mass produced relatively. And I want to say the term relatively because they are, they're decent watches, but they're relatively low quality watches. There's going to be a whole lot of variance when it comes to the quality from piece to piece. I mean, whether they're made in the same place or whether they came from different factories, uh, it's going to have, again, more to do with when they were made, if anything else, in my opinion. So, so yeah, bottom line, they are virtually identical. There is no perceptible difference to my eyes between these two examples that are on the table, and it is entirely going to boil down to what do you want the dial to say when you buy yours? All right, guys, that's my, you know, quick little, I don't know, however long this video was, 10 minutes or something, my 10 little synopsis of which is better, the SKX-009J versus the SKX-009K. Again, they're the same. If you want to spend an extra 50 bucks to get a two-liner, do it. Go for it. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. If you want to save the 50 bucks, get the K version, you know, you're not going to get better quality from one or the other, in my opinion. Again, this is just based off of a sample of a couple that I have in my possession, not a sample of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. But I have had several SKXs in my hands over the course of the last year. They're all the same, in my opinion. I don't really believe that there is any significant difference based on where they're manufactured. I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out the video. As always, please like this video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to help out and support the channel, down in the notes or the description of this video is a list of ways that you can help me out. Each and every one of those would be highly appreciated. And as always, stick around. I'll be back later on this week or early next week with another video. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.